my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill video, IV fluid and medication. I'm in the appropriate school attire, badges visible, no polish, no quilt, no small jewelry. All right, so for my patient today, um, she's going to be receiving fluid and IV medication and amoxicillin. I have done the work for both of those. Okay, here is the fluid. The physician ordered 150 ml to run over 60 minutes with a drop factor of 15. The work shows that it needs to be 38 drops per minute. For the medication, same drop factor of 15. The um, amount is 100 ml to run over 15 minutes, so work showing 100 drops per minute. All right, whenever giving fluid or medication to a patient, I need to verify the physician's orders. I also need to perform the six rights of medication administration, that is right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, or right documentation. I also want to um, identify the patient using two patient identifiers provide privacy, and then also um, ask for any allergies. And I want to check that against the patient's chart. All right, I'm going to hand hygiene and put on my gloves. I'm also going to walk through the parts of the tubing for both my primary and secondary tubing. Just drop factor 15, 15. So for my primary tubing, the parts are the spike end here. This I want to keep covered and sterile until I'm actually going to insert it in the bag. Here's my drip chamber. This is where I'm going to squeeze to fill up about halfway because I want to count the drips coming down to um, ensure a proper amount. I also um, This is also where the air will go from the fluid. The air will rise from the fluid to avoid it going in the tubing. Here is the clamp. Um, I have it clamped down now, so nothing will flow. If it's up, it will be full flow. This is where I will regulate it, move it by regulating how many drops I want per the order. Here is the Y port. This is where I would hook up any um, push medication or where I'm going to hook up my secondary line for the medication. And then here is the adapter end. This is what I'm going to hook up to the patient's IV. Alright, similarly with the um, secondary tubing, same parts, spike end, drip chamber, roller clamp. The only difference is here is that the adapter end is what's going to hook into my Y port. So this is the piggyback tubing. Alright, I'm going to get everything hooked up. My fluid. So I'm going to take off the cap to my fluid, uh, excuse me, to my fluid bag first, just because I don't want to back and knock this as it can be a little difficult to get out sometimes. Okay. Remove my spike and cap. And I'm going to insert all the way in. Okay. Before turning over, I want to make sure that my roll clamp is clamped all the way down, otherwise the fluid will just pour right out. I'm going to hang my fluid. When hanging any fluid, um, I want to ensure that it is at least 30 inches above the patient's IV site. Okay. I'm going to uh, remove the end here. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to actually fill this halfway by squeezing it gently. Okay, halfway full. Now I'm going to remove the end here cap, and I'm going to prime the tubing. When priming the tubing, I want to make sure I don't um, push this all the way up. That can actually cause more air to go into the tubing. So I'm going to slowly unroll it. I'm going to let the fluid drop out into my trash can here. And I want now well, at least a couple drops to come out. Okay. Now that I have primed the tubing, all the air bubbles have been removed, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to count. Oops, this is going to I want to count um, 38 drops per minute for my fluid. I'm going to count for one whole minute. And if it's too fast, you can uh, regulate. Too slow, same thing, you can regulate it.
All right, I've counted for a full minute. I'm going to clamp this off and put the cap back on. Okay. Now I'm going to hook up my secondary um, tubing to the medication for the patient. All right, same thing. I'm going to remove the uh, medication cap first. Okay, then the spike cap. I'm just going to insert that in here. All the way. Okay, same thing. I want to make sure that my clamp is rolled all the way down so the liquid doesn't just pour out. Now, since um, the patient is uh, needing this medication, I actually want to lower my fluid down here and hang my medication higher. So I want it above the fluid. Then I'm going to remove the cap here. I want to alcohol my Y port here so that I can connect my secondary tubing to my Y port. Let it dry. Then I'm going to twist on and connect. Okay, like so. All is connected. Now I need to prime the tubing. The fluid is held for the minute, so I'm going to take off the cap to the secondary tubing. Alright, same thing. I want to fill halfway again, and I want to slowly unclamp the, uh, I'm not slowing tubing here. Let a couple drops out to remove any air bubbles. Alright, I've removed all the air bubbles. Obviously, that would then hook this up to the patient if I haven't done also. I want to put back the fluid where I had it at. Obviously, it's going to be slower due to being 38 drops. Then here, this is going to be much higher up the roller clamp because it's going to be 100 drops a minute. And I want to fully count that for one minute. Again, leaning over my trash can. Adjusting. One, two. All right, I have counted for a whole minute. I'm going to clamp both of them. Put my cap back on. All right, my patient is hooked up. They are running at both the appropriate um, rate, 38 and 100, per the physician's orders. I'm going to clean up any trash I have. I want to assess the patient's site, make sure that it's appropriate. I want to make sure my patient is comfortable. Remove my gloves. Hand hygiene, and that's it.